so uh, we are going to discuss about bgp so in this particular small lab we'll see how to configure the ibgp neighborship and the ebgp neighborship as you can see in this scenario this router it is basically participating in as number 100 router 2 is also belongs to the same as number 100 it means they belongs to the same as so the neighborship between r1 and r2 will be ibgp neighborship but as you can see router 3 it is sitting in as number 200 which is not same as r2 so the neighborship between r2 and r3 in this case will be ebgp external bgp peering ebgp stands for external bgp neighbors ibgp stands for internal bgp neighbors so there are various ways of configuring the neighborship in both ibgp as well as in ebgp so but in this scenario we are going to use the IP addresses of the interface for both the scenario but we can also configure the same thing with the loopbacks that we will see in the next slides so let me just demonstrate you how to configure this neighborship so just let me open this console of R1 let me just configure the console so as you can see router 1 serial 1 slash 0 is connected to r2 serial 1 slash 0 so first let me assign the IP addresses for the interface in this case don't forget to execute no shutdown command all right so at r1 we have only one interface to configure so we assign now let me enable the bgp process the command is router bgp now after this you can do question mark so as you can see it will gives you an as range which is basically a 16 bit long entity so you can choose any number out of this so let me choose 100 as it is shown in the slide sorry as it is mentioned in the diagram now from this diagram as you can see R1 is having only one neighbor which is IBGP neighbor R2 and what is the IP for R2 it is from the same subnet from the same link 10.1.1.2 so the command to configure the neighborship is neighbor then you can do ok now you should put the IP address of that neighbor interface which is this now you should also tell your BGP router whether this neighbor belongs to the same AS or in different AS so that the router will know whether I should make IBGP neighborship or EBGP neighborship so in this case this router R2 belongs to the same AS so let me put the same AS number and now let me configure the network also so what network we have here it is 10.1.1.0 now to configure the subnet mask the keyword is mask so as it is 24 now save your configs this is about R1's configuration let me go to R2 now it is booting let me just do a no now let me assign the IPs for interfaces at R2 don't forget to do no shutdown Not let me assign the IP for the next interface as well which is serial 11 what is IP there 
sorry I have done a mistake let me go back to no it's fine okay now let me put IP for another interface but in this case my subnet is 20 I think I forgot to configure clock rate here so let me just put that one also alright so we configured the IPs and all now let me configure BGP since this router also belongs to the same AS now let me configure network so on this router we have 10 110 sorry that mask keyword don't forget to put this is one network and we have one more network which is 20 now let me configure the neighbor the first neighbor is router 1 10 111 now it also belongs to the same AS like R2 so remote AS number is 100 now as you can see in the diagram we do have one more neighbor which is as you can see in the console the message came that your neighborship has been up now let me configure one more neighbor which is 2113 this 2113 neighbor but it is in different AS so that AS is 200 so at R2 we have these two neighbors okay I think we configured everything now if you want to check the neighborship whether it is working with R1 or not you can do show IP BGP summary this command will give you a very good output so as you can see my neighborship with 10.111 is if it is 0 it means it is working fine since we do not configure any of the prefixes so the number of prefixes which we received from R1 is 0 but if it is active it means something is wrong so why it is showing here active for R3 because we have not configured R3 yet so let me go to R3 and configure it so R3 I am at R3 let me just drag this little bit lower so that you can see the diagram as well let me assign the host name which is R3 now at R3 we have only one interface serial 1 slash 0 what is the IP there IP is 3 with subnet mask 24 no shutdown and yeah clocked now last job is to configure the BGP neighborship now what network ok now R3 is only having one neighbor which is R2 so what is the IP at R2 serial 1 slash 1 interface it is 2112 so 2112 now that remote AS command now my R2 belongs to AS number 100 so let me put 100 we'll see whether we we can see the message uh, here it is as you can see my neighborship is up and running but this neighborship is my EBGP neighborship so let me save this configuration and let me show you do show IP BGP summary command alright so as you can see in this output 
if it is not active means everything is working perfectly so as you can see I am getting two prefixes from R2 so seems to be working fine alright so let me go back to R2 and show you what is the status there why because before it was active for router 3 so I am at R2 and as you can see here in the console in the console as you can see that your neighborship with dot 3 is also up so if you execute the same command which we executed before but before it was active there as you can see here before the status with dot 3 was active now this time it should be proper so let me just put an enter ok so as you can see I have my neighborship working with both the router with R1 also as well as with R3 also but with R1 my neighborship is IBGP and with R3 my neighborship is EBGP so this was the lab a, a basic lab how to configure IBGP and EBGP neighborship thanks for watching this video